you're gonna finish that. It's all yours. Thanks. You're too kind. Why do you always leave just enough for me to want more? That's it. What? The killer isn't as infallible as we thought. He leaves one clue just for us to find. Yeah? Y your point being? He's been playing us this entire time. He's been leaving one clue. Just so that we could continue playing his game, but what if we stopped finding his clues? What if... What if we stopped playing his game? Then we would finally beat him at his own game. You know, you're beginning to sound just like you. What? The way you talk about this. Like, like it's some sort of game. I'm talking about catching the killer. No, 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 no. You're talking about playing your own game so that you would win. What are you trying to say? That I think this is a game? That I don't care about people's lives? Look, all I'm saying is that there are real lives involved. There are consequences. You know, we went to Ryan four times after his accident. Four different cases, four different desperate families. You know what he said? <laughs> he said it wasn't worth his time. <laughs> That's right. He turned down the opportunity to save lives because he didn't challenge him enough. Last case, a kid, 10 years young, begged me to find the person that took his mommy from him. I promised him I wouldn't sleep until I did. And I didn't sleep for three days. Lead after lead, door after door, until I found the person responsible. No playbooks, no games. I understand, but you're wrong about what we do. We save lives even if that means losing some. Yeah, only if it challenges you enough. That's not fair. I know you use your powers for good, but sometimes Sometimes your superpower can just be giving a shit in the first place. <laughs>